of Psalms chapter 1 blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly Ooh, you know what that's government nor standeth in the way of sinners in other words look if they're going to willfully stand, uh, sin don't stand in their way let them go on if you say, hey, you are doing wrong and they want to argue with you, just let it go and let them go on. Nor sitteth in the sit seat of the scornful. In other words, don't sit there and, and keep scorning somebody and all. Don't sit with them. Get away from them. All right. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doeth he meditate day and night. If you take, you know, like, uh, the, keep the Sabbath day, and you study that, and all, you're going to be surprised what you come across with just the Sabbath day on the commandments. And he shall be like a tree planted by the river of waters that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chief which the wind driveth away. You might think that, you know, these people that's got a lot of money, these rich people, are doing really good. <laughs> really, they're not. They're not. They, you know, their soul has to be crying. Alright, therefore the ungodly shall not stand in judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Why do the heathen rage, and the people imagine vain things? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord, and against his anointing. Now, you could, you might as well just look at it. That's the lawyers. The lawyers are doing this. They're taking the counsel against the God. My eyes, I'm having to scratch my eyes. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Oh boy, one day we will. He that sitteth in the, in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in destruction. Then... Shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vax them in a sore displeasure? Yet have I set my king upon the holy hill of Zion. I will declare the Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son, and this day I begotten thee. It was talking about Jesus Christ. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathens for the inheritance, and uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with cords of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces with a potter's vessel. With wives, now therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, you judges of the earth, 
Serve thee, Lord, with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss thee, son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but just a little. Blessed are they that put their trust in him. All right, we're on three. Lord, I see how are thy increase that tr uh, troubleth me. Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, where it, see, there is no help for him in God, Selah. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cry unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill, Selah. I lend me down, see, I lay me down and sleep. I awake, for the Lord sustain me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that sure have set themselves against me around about. There's your government. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Selah. All right, we're on four. Hear me when I call, O God, of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O you son of man, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek after leasing Selah? But know that the Lord hath set apart him that is good, uh, godly for himself, and the Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed, and be still, Selah. Now, I like this first. You have you stand in awe, but God, you are so. You're everything that I am not, and I mean, think about what he what he does at night for you. What have you, you know, been through during the daytime that he has showed himself to you? All right, I'm on five. Offer the sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of our countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than any time that the corn that the corn and their wine increase. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, and maketh me dwell in safety. I could lay down and I could sleep like a brick if, the, if I could. <laughs> and sometimes I just can't go to sleep. Alright. I think it has a lot to do with this 5G and all. Alright, here we go. Chapter 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken to the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For unto thee will I pray. My voice shall hear for if thou hear in the morning, O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayers unto thee, and I will look up. Boy, I tell you what, there's, that's the time to really pray. And most of the time, we all forget to do it. And we really need to pray in the morning. Even if we look up to him and say, hey, my creator, I am so glad you're there. You know, if we just acknowledge him in the morning. All right, for thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. Thee fool shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all work of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them with that speaketh leasing. The Lord will arbor the bloody and deceitful man. But for me, I will come into the house in the multitude of thy mercy, and in thy fear will I worship ha towards thy holy tabernacle, or holy temple. All right. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, 
because of my enemies, make thy way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulcher. They flatter with their, their tongue. Destroy thou them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsel. Leave as they cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because of thou disdainest them. Least them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, Wilt bless the righteousness with favor, wilt thou compass them as with a shield. We are on no, chapter 6. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, neither chastise me in the hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are vaxed. My soul also sore vaxed. But thou, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, deliver my soul. O save me for thy mercy's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of thee in the grave. Who shall give thee thanks? So it goes back to the, the dead knows nothing. When you die, you're not going to remember God. And you're also... You're not going to be able to give him thanks. Number six. I am weary with my groaning. All the night make I my bed to swim. I water my couch with my tears. Mine eyes is consumed because of grief. It waxed old because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. For the Lord have heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord have heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return to be ashamed suddenly. You know what? I really do like the book of Psalms. It is a very good book. Alright, let's see how big 11. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go with 11. Yeah. O oh, my Lord God, in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me. Least you hear, as you tear my soul like a lion, render it in pieces while there is none to deliver. O oh, Lord my God, if I have done this, if there be iniquity in my hands, if I have reward evil unto him that was at peace with me, yea, I have delivered him that without cause in my enemy. Let the enemy persecute my soul and take it, yea, let him tread down my life upon the earth and lay my honor in the dust. Selah, arise, O Lord, in their anger and lift up thyself because of the rage of my enemies. And await for uh, see, await for me in the judgment that thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people compass about thee about. For their sake, therefore, return now on high. The Lord shall judge the people. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity that is in me. <clears throat> oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just, for the righteous God treadeth the hearts and ruins. My defense is of God, which saveth the upright in heart. God judges the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will went with his sword and have bent his bow and made it ready. I want you to pay attention to the number 11. We're on Psalm 7 and 11. God judges the righteousness and God is angry with the wicked every day. 
So he's angry with these people every day. I don't want to be on that slide. All right, I'm on 13. He that also prepared for him the instrument of death, the ordaineth the arrow against the persecutors. Behold, he traveleth with iniquity, and hath convinced ministers and bought forth falsehood. He made a pit, and dug it, and they fall into the ditch which he made. His mitchus shall return upon his own head, and his valiant dealing shall come down upon his own plate. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, and I will sing praise to the name of the Lord of the Most High. Alright, let's see. We're, we're, I'm going to read number 8. All right, O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and suckling hast thou ordained strength because of thy enemies, that thou mayest steal the enemy and the anger. When I consider the heavens, the works of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than angels, and canst crown him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hand, that thou put all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, yea, all the beasts of the field, the fowls of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the path of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. All right, we're going to pick up number nine tomorrow. May God richly and bless you. Now, I like the book of Psalms. There is all kinds of wisdom in this book. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Because you live, all fear is gone. Because I know who holds a future and life is worth. Cross that river, I'll find my spine, no more pain. And then, as then gives way to fear.